Welcome back to Horizon 2 Forbidden West Burning Shores version 1.23 and my careful ultra hard let's play. And here we are in the bulwark. Uh, so we're post the end of uh, Burning Shores. But I still haven't uh, checked in with all my uh, friends, so oh, eventually on. I'm going to go to them. Uh, going to uh, speak with Alva. Come on. You can do better than so that. So my focus has uh, Are you the Who are you? If you're here to train, talk to my brother. All right. It's your brother. Who else do we have around here? Up there are some people. I can want to talk to uh, go this way what are those oh the famous Nora let's have a trade no, thank you. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm a bit uh, low on um, Sun King's delight value search. Yeah. Do, do you have anything else value search? No, not here. Are you no. sure I can't tempt you? Yeah. See who was who was it we wanted to talk to? want to talk to you go bother my brother by the pit entrance right come trade the outlander has shown us we must join the cool all right the potion maker are you certain there's nothing you require your enemy is mine you know my stock return when you need it can you fell Regala as easily as the bulwark? Oh, I have uh, go, gone all around. I was going to that place. I must have missed it. Please. Sorry, I got the uh, sidetrack. It's up here I wanted. Take to the skies in the name of the all these lands must be open Lowland, to me. Desert, sky, Here. Under <laughs> Nora, of course. In dedication lies reward. Not you. May you strike really true as the ten, Aloy. So. Thank you. And you too. There walks the Karo's champion. You weren't kidding about changes at the Bulwark. Wish Ram Squad had been here to see the action. Outlander, Ram Squad is back in the Bulwark to stay, thanks to you. Dakota couldn't refuse. Yeah, so you were the people out on the watchtower. Okay, still haven't uh, 
found the people out up here. You, let's Seek run. So, uh, uh, yeah, what I really wanted to um, have a time to uh, talk about some of the other things that uh, I thought I would have time to uh, cover during the main play of uh, Burning Shores. Could uh, hopefully find a bit time to say something about deep ecology and its relationship to technology and artificial intelligence. Ah, Aloy. A welcome distraction. Uh, does Fariga's armor suit you? It does. Thank you. I'll let you return to your debate. Ah, Aloy. A welcome distraction. Uh, does Fariga's armor suit you? It does. Thank you. I'll let you return to your debate. Let's see who else was here. Dyer, painter. Okay. Your blade be bright. In the name of the ten. Where is the? Hmm. I was looking for the brother and the sister. Can't find them here. Maybe it was uh, in the other um, place then. All right, and let's. No, is it here? Let's see again, and we got to continue here. Honor and strength. Welcome, champion. You don't have to do this, you know. I want to be here, Pentha. Here we are. Wasn't there anything else? Ha. Huh. Okay, you don't want to talk. Can you fell Regala as easily I'll have as to the train hard for the next Vander? march. I'm sure there'll be no one as prepared as you. So that was the person who followed Never up to the top Scott of the mountain. In battle or trade, it's good to have an ally. Inking always takes a while. Then I'll wait. Okay, let's continue Let then. Every holdout shake in fear. Dark. Right, so um, let's uh, continue then. Your spear points the way to victory. Sure proved to Kote wrong. So what I wanted to uh, find the opportunity to uh, can you fell can we get down here? No. Right. They are blades. Uh, I don't like that they uh, start to say something and then just stop abruptly because you are pa passing them or 
heading in another direction. So there are graces and uh, fire racer claw directly uh, at the bottom. Strange. Are all these uh, tame? Maybe not. Okay. okay, so what di direction do we walk to? Ah, let's race here. Right. Yeah. So uh, there is a um, like uh, if you think about um, Chaos Theory, uh, it talks about complexity uh, and uh, that uh, not everything can be uh, solved with uh, increased computing capacity so there are types of um, complexity that you can't do uh, just by uh, increasing computing capacity Uh, so if you think about uh, how much faster a, a computer has become uh, during last or, or since the dawn of computer and uh, that it's uh, pretty much uh, doubled in capacity every few years. It's... Um, that could make you believe that you would eventually have enough capacity to uh, solve any type of problem uh, but uh, the types of uh, multiplication of systems and how fast a system can uh, get uh, too hard by, by multiplying several times you have an exponential increase in uh, how much uh, processing power you would have need to actually uh, solve it that's recently you had that uh, example for the game of go that uh, the deep blue program managed to solve uh, or win in chess uh, and beat the world champion in playing chess but uh, the and that game has an incredible amount of um, different variations of uh, gameplay like if if you have a computer that would uh, uh, try out every possible solution and play out every possible solution until the end of the game to find the one that actually works that takes a lot of computing power and Deep Blue uh, used s some uh, algorithms heuristics uh, to um, 
No, I don't want to uh, go that way, I think. Or we, well, we could do, no, go around instead. Uh, so, um, IBM that uh, produced that uh, constructed that computer and programmed it with some heuristics but a lot of brute force to actually be able to uh, test all those combinations to find a way uh, to play better than the world champion and uh, but then you have a game let go but uh, has so many more possible variations because it's a bigger board and uh, that would exponentially make the possible combinations but there are more combinations than there are atoms in the universe So that makes it, it that limits the possibility very much, and uh, let's see, yeah, we can take this way. So it, another example from uh, Chaos theory is for the Weber system, and to actually predict the outcome of. Uh, what Weber would be a year in the future or some months in the future would be uh, hard because you have very small changes that would uh, result in large differences. Uh, and this has the implication in uh, how you would construct an ecosystem because if you think about, for example, the function of molecules of, let's see, the function of, uh, yeah, it's molecules. Uh, I'm sorry about my pronunciation, so I'm usually not speaking English. So the you, you have all those uh, variations of molecules in the body that's uh, the different um, configuration of atoms and uh, the role of those the different hor hormones the different uh, transmitter uh, molecules and nutrition and everything else the proteins and so on everything in your body and uh, often then you study these things and try to figure out what is the role of this specific uh, substance in the body and every answer to that is uh, almost by necessity re reductionistic it's that uh, Well, it, there are <laughs> thousands of different molecules, but just to mention one of them, like uh, cholesterol, and uh, trying to talk about uh, or, or, or take things like vitamins or uh, different minerals or anything else that uh, are used in the body like all of those things if you see for a bottle of supplements uh, for a specific vitamin and um, trying to understand what does this do in the body or things like um, sugars 
or fats and all those names are also in themselves that's strange there was some tower here and then it's just disappeared why was it uh, specific for a uh, for the But you still have a chest here. Why did that just disappear? Well, so, so you got all those molecules and uh, every uh, naming of them and description of them is uh, incredibly reductionistic. Like uh, they don't have just one function or 10 or a hundred functions. Uh, how they interact with different systems in in the body is every different molecule has you know like thousands of different types of interactions and roles in different systems and even if you actually uh, has if you actually do a work to map those out then those same uh, those same molecules has another different role depending on uh, the genetics and depending on uh, the state of the body like uh, it might have one role in uh, let's say a um, normal or average human but uh, it might have a completely different role in the case of some type of uh, sickness or in some kind of uh, uh, extreme situation like uh, some nutrition may have uh, one function in day-to-day uh, -day life but a completely different uh, function if you currently are on fire and uh, the body try to protect itself from uh, dying from fire or if you are starving or uh, currently attacked by uh, some uh, specific type of bacteria or uh, serious sickness or you know uh, Now, this is a floating tree. Well, I, I love this uh, forest with big trees and uh, everything. Yeah, so, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, all the possible um, combinations of uh, what things do in nature. So now I just talked about uh, how everything works or the function of molecules in the body and all the infinite number of interactions in different circumstances and different environments now these these are very big trees and you see so every description of them are reductionistic because no body or molecule exists in a vacuum like this thing if you would study the tree you can't just study the tree you have to study the tree in combination with all the moss here all the insects around it and all the interaction it has with everything around it the air all the pollen and uh, everything else in the air produced by everything around it uh, so that's the argument for why it would be completely impossible for any computer to actually model the ecosystem that It doesn't matter if the computer would be a thousand times more efficient or a million times more efficient 
like some types of complex systems can't be modeled no matter how uh, fast or advanced the computer is. I think I'm, uh, well, we might find a way here. Oh, we're back here. Was 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 the poor uh, Tenak? I think it was Tenak soldiers, yeah, who got shot by a Quen. Right. Um, so how would you possibly uh, reconstruct an uh, ecosystem? And that is questions that you can hear the skepticism of some of the biologists in the Zero Dawn project bunker. Uh, some of them uh, just explained how that's uh, madness to even try to do something like that and that uh, you're deluded if you think that that can be done But then you got projects like uh, AlphaGo. The recent progress in artificial intelligence has sort of uh, demonstrated something that's the direct uh, opposite of every science fiction writer's vision of what artificial intelligence would become uh, like all the depiction of uh, artificial intelligence uh, in the fiction world has depicted it as something that's uh, so logical that it can't understand human emo emotions or intuitions Uh, and what we have gotten instead are intelligent systems that's not logical but fully emotional uh, in the simplistic representation of a human so I, I must stress that that's, uh, it's not actually how brains works but a simplistic representation of it says that you have a right brain thinking that uh, deals with uh, pattern matching associations and uh, like seeing the big picture and then you got the left brain thinking 
that's about uh, seeing the details and, and the logic. So uh, it, it's that, that is a simplification, but uh, it actually in the case of um, of describing the brain would rather m maybe be that you have a corpus callosum that uh, processing a pattern and then you got the frontal cortex that uh, test out and uh, reacts uh, patterns that doesn't fit the situation but anyway um, humans has generally oh here you are human has generally the pattern matching part that um, see things that it uh, no yes Please turn around while you're down digging. Uh, okay, so so the pattern matching part is that um, uh, in the 80s and 90s, uh, you had I, I started uh, reading about and studying artificial intelligence uh, in. Um, well like in the 80s and or 19s uh, 1995 or thereabout uh, but the situation there was that uh, you have symbolic logic uh, the roots of logic that you could use uh, and train uh, computers in uh, expert systems to uh, solve situation find answers by following specific uh, rules that you gave it your please don't come here Nice. That's the <laughs> that's the good thing about having a sneaky outfit. Yeah. So uh, the computers uh, was good at logic and bad at. Uh, They fighting someone down here. Could use purge water against it. Who are they fighting? And where are we really? Is this a um Yeah, this is an uh, old bandit camp. But who are they fighting? Here is one. Can I take this out?
Why aren't you dying? jumped in the wrong direction. I really wish that these people that you sometimes manage to save and keep alive that uh, we actually would remember that in game like uh, it's actually people who exist in the world and not just an event that spawns and then the next time you come to the same place you got this another group of uh, people re just respawning it just becomes activities that uh, has the uh, veneer of being meaningful but are just repeating events See, because uh, I, I would like to actually care about being able or not being able to save these people from from the battle but uh, not many, it's just a reset event, it becomes more meaningless. Could I have used this? Yeah. So in the nineties, I'll stash this away for later. You had uh, very hard time to. It was the beginning of uh, character recognition. Like uh, you had computers to that had the ability to scan uh, images of text and then uh, convert that to. Uh, uh, strings of characters in optical character recognition but that thing was uh, very bad at actually recognizing letters and words if they were just a little bit if they were um, too close together or not in perfect quality my computer would often get it completely wrong So that thing has changed uh, with the uh, deep learning neural networks. You have programs that got much better at pattern recognition, but we're still not that much better in the actual logic part. And most of the recent advances in uh, machine learning is just advanced advancement in the pattern recognition part and they don't even use the things that we have um, evolved 
uh, with uh, regard of uh, symbolic logic and the mathematics and so on, uh, resulting in that the today's computers are all failing and no logic, and that's the direct opposite of the vision of how computers would be. Let's see. I'm going. Uh, yeah, I, I want just to take the opportunity to check in on uh, things on the way here, like Southwest. Uh, so, in the case of AlphaGo. Uh, that's the system by uh, DeepMind. Let's see, I, I forgot the, the name now, but uh, it, the founder of DeepMind was a person who was um, the best or one of the best in uh, chess and uh, got an interest in um, in artificial intelligence and then was uh, acquired by Google <laughs> Do I dare to take the bridge? Did you see me? Uh, one of the watchers did see me. But not enough to uh, actually make out my position. Can pass, champion. Of course, you beat the Grandmaster of Machine Strike. That game's a true test of strategy. Walk with strength. Let's see here. I think it's by the water, but uh, herbalist, cook, strike. Yeah, and there was something on the ground here so I haven't gotten yet. Let's work on your defense. Are you still here? Thought there would be uh, someone here. Maybe they sleeping. Uh, huh. Everyone's talking about your strike win, and I mean everyone. Is it true? Wow. Is it Aloy, Regalis Bane. Good day. Your marks are true. I am proud to have fought by your side. What did you find? When I'm not here, I spend my time at the hunting grounds. You should try them. No, thank you. Okay, uh, I fa thought I would uh, found someone here, but. 
Let's continue then. It's an honor, champion. Your blade is to be respected, Outlander. <laughs> the, I, I like much of the voice line. I don't like how the voice lines are programmed. I talked about that before, but the actual voice line, except for that one, her voice is so recognizable, and then you hear the same person all Even over the Tenak all over the Tenak territory. That breaks immersion. That that exact voice can be heard in every village all over. She is too recognizable to be used as a random uh, voice. Okay, so uh, AlphaGo. Uh, uh, machine learning and uh, they actually learned how to uh, to do deep learning in a way that it can find solutions to complex problems. Uh, the same uh, DeepMind managed to uh, use that knowledge to uh, build a neural network or um, what, what you want to call it for solving the protein folding problem that's uh, used in medicine. Uh, to find out uh, which uh, proteins can uh, connect to different uh, cell connectors or um, DNA or all the things that the proteins connect to. And that's a big accomplishment because that was something that uh, no program could do before and you would have uh, humans trying to guess how to fold the proteins or just trying to use brute force well so um, so, so you can't use brute force if you want to but, but uh, having um, deep machine learning and uh, having fast machines isn't enough to actually uh, model the ecosystems and the complexity of biology. So, um, so that's a problem regarding the regarding how you can uh, try to reconstruct or repair a an ecosystem, or in the case of uh, Horizon, reconstitute an ecosystem. But then, on the other hand, we got the resilience of the ecosystem that uh, many living things has the adaptability to uh, adapt and survive in different life conditions. Uh, so the things you have today is things that manage to survive and evolve through uh, hundreds of thousands of years 
or thousands of years. Through different, uh, like uh, different climates and, and different environments of diff of uh, the species around them, through starvation and uh, different kinds of nutrients. So, if you have samples of life, like seeds or uh, eggs or other things even if you can't um, recreate the systems exactly you still can uh, maybe find something that's not exactly like in nature but uh, that is sufficient for it to uh, actually survive but so so you can't uh, you can't have full understanding of every complexity and every part of a system um, so what we're saying is that uh, it's impossible for any type of computer to actually understand the complex interactions but you don't have to understand it. Uh, you can manage to uh, have something survive anyway. Like if we take something, a plant, and you put it in a pot by the windowsill, that's not at all similar to the natural conditions, but it might be good enough to uh, uh, to actually make it survive especially if you uh, have a close eye on it and try different things so even if you don't understand what's happening you can still get an understanding of how uh, well it's doing if it's healthy if it's uh, looking good and um, you can test out different things and see what's working so sort of uh, that's part of the design of Gaia is it doesn't recreate life from scratch it has uh, seed banks it has cell banks it has much of these things it has an advanced uh, machine learning network it has lots of heuristics and uh, expert system knowledge of different kinds but also it, it has the systems to adapt on the fly so if Gaia would actually know everything about an ecosystem it wouldn't need to stay around but because that's an impossibility because it can't do that uh, you would have that's close you would uh, have to have a system that can adapt continuously like we said about Gaia is that it constantly monitoring the progress and constantly changes things up and that's why in Forbidden West the environment got progressively worse because Gaia wasn't around to uh, to adjust the process. So that's a bit about uh, like. The Stand as one again. Make way for Hikaru's champion. Deep ecology, ecological philosophy. Uh, and today that's a um, argument for why uh, you shouldn't try to uh, to control nature because you can't understand it 
and if you're trying to uh, mess with it you're disturbing complex systems that evolved over millions of years and that would make irreparable damage Uh, and that's also argument to uh, against technology that uh, we should um, go back to a simpler lifestyle and living more like hunter gatherers in order to uh, not disturb the complex ecosystem because humans in most cases will um, degrade those rich interactions I'm coming up to the hour so I should um, find well I think I'm going to just run to uh, this thorn marsh I'm sorry, I don't have time to help you. Now, I hope you have a... Uh, that you are uh, fit for running. I know you are, but... Uh, personally, I'm not physically... Uh, good enough to run for longer periods of time. May honor guide you. Hi. Find truth in battle. Wonder what brings the chief's champion here. Regala was no we match for her. Our place here. Thank you. Our strength is your strength. I looking for a fire. You up for a game strike later? Okay. But you should know that I got some. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. But uh, the fire is in the opposite direction. I hear the battle at the embassy is true. Here. Shoo. Uh, short of breath. Yeah, we can take a rest now. Um, yeah, so uh, that's a bit of uh, deep ecology and part of what the thing that makes this game interesting is the tension between the tra traditional ecological and green moment and their uh, skepticism and hostility against technological solutions and what we have here with Miriam Technologies and the uh, Sierra Dawn project that you're using the understanding of the complexity of ecology and nature and using technology to restore it and um, building machines that live in harmony with nature so bye for now and see you in the next episode.